Starting with a blank workspace, opening Audio Core, units are scanned in the background during the splash screen display, but check your comm settings and then just press online. Units have already been scanned, so as we can see, two units have been found. If you want, you can rescan the comms, make it check again. Because this is a blank workspace, you can't send or get settings, but you can build from the connected units. Note here the ability to also bring in memories and group data. So initially, we'll leave those switched off. Hit build, and within a second, the two units have appeared. I open Audio Core, select the file. So this file contains the two amplifiers that I already have on my system and I've already pre-configured them. So what I want to do is go online and either send new settings to them or get the settings back out to resync what is in this file. So comms is as before, hit online. The units have already been found. Note the message that says units present and correct because the units on the system match the units that have been found. So now I have extra options available. I can send the settings from the file directly to the amplifiers. I can get the settings back out to resync it that direction, or I can just start again and build. So I will say send settings to units. And now the system is synchronized. Starting Audio Core with a system that doesn't match the connected units will be detailed when we try to go online. So if I open this complicated looking system, lots of groups, lots of amps, I know that there are only two amplifiers actually connected to the system. So when I go online, two units find, which is correct, but you can see the report says four units missing, two units incorrect, so four don't actually exist and the two units that have been detected don't match with the two IDs. So my only choice is to build from connected units because nothing matches.